Listen, I, I know sometimes we get prone to certain things. All right, y'all. And I know we used to have a drummer with us. But the music shouldn't dignify how you move for God. Amen. Can't be a witness of you. Your praise should be based on what God has done for you. And if you know that you know that you know you know, then it would just you, your God and I. You got a reason to give God a praise on this house. And if God had done nothing for you but woke you up this morning, and that's all you can think about that he's done, that's enough right there. Because somebody laid down last night that didn't get up this morning, but here you are sitting there with all the activity in your lips, but you still... Give me down in your well of wisdom, bring me up with preaching power and might. 
that I may preach a word that's on that crowd. I need you like you. What must I do? Hide me behind that rugged cross when men don't see me, but the Lord that lives in me. May the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight. Is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Therefore, I say unto you, Amen. what things soever ye desire, Amen. when you pray, you pray. <laughs> All right, now. When you pray, Amen, now. believe that you shall receive them, Amen. and ye shall have them. Amen. I want to talk to you from the subject today. Prayer will, Prayer will. change things. All right, now. All right, now. That's all right, now. That's all right now. Prayer will, will. change things. Amen. <laughs> I'm going to say it again for somebody who didn't hear me. Prayer will, Prayer will. change things. I understand that we're living in a day and time yeah. where everybody is talking. Amen. Can I get a witness? Again? All right. But it seems to be most of the time when they're talking, they're talking to the wrong person. Amen. That's all right. And it seems that every time we begin to go through storms and we find ourselves in situation and in and in, in, in conflicts and things, we begin to talk to people that can help us. All right, all right. All right. I understand sometimes you got that person that, that that one you can go talk to and they can give you words of encouragement and give you an advice, and, and that's good. Amen. But I heard in the scripture where he said, "Cast all your cares upon me." That's right. He said, "Because I." Care for you. Amen. Can't get a That's all right. And I know, I know, I know we got we like to get around and sit around and talk and laugh and have a good time. But when when, when, when trouble comes, all right, you gotta be able to talk to the Lord. Can right. I get a witness in here? And see, sometimes when, when we get comfortable in this life on, and it feels like everything going good, yeah. we forget to talk. To the Lord. Can I get a witness? I'm just going to tell it like it is. We, we, we here down here in the church, and the church has gotten real bad with this. They only talk to God when they need it. Come on, Doctor. When you get sick, oh Lord, have mercy on me. But when you was running, doing everything you could do, you ain't had God to think about. Come on, but I want you to understand today that you don't just have to pray when you're in trouble. Right. You should, but the Bible says men should always pray. Can I get a witness in here? See, if you stay prayed up, Amen. when the trouble comes, you got a little extra fight going on. Right. <laughs> Scripture said, for I should be like a tree yes, planted by the rivers of water. And you wonder why when the storm comes, the tree may but it won't break because the tree already got some inner strength that'll sustain it in the midst of the storm. See, your prayer life is what sustains you in the midst of your storm. God ain't gonna talk to me. Can I get a witness in here? This scripture, this scripture, this scripture comes when Jesus and his disciples enter into Jerusalem and they see a fig tree. Yeah. Off in the distance. And they, and they run to the fig tree to get some figs, but there are no figs on the tree. All right. Can't get a witness All right. All right. Ain't nothing but leaves. On the tree. Jesus spoke and said, For this time forward, this tree will not produce right. no, no more figs. Right. Can't get a witness Amen. Amen. And they went on about their, their daily tax and everything, but when they got up to leave the next morning, and he began to lean out to go out. They looked at the old fig tree. That's right, that's right. And the fig tree had to begin to dry up. Because of the word that Jesus spoke. Amen. 
Can I get a witness in here? So you gotta understand when, when Jesus begin to speak, yeah. things begin to happen. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. I want to stop by and let you know that when God starts speaking into your situation, right. <laughs> I don't care how bad it looked. I don't care what they told you about it. I don't care what the doctor said. When God speak into your situation, something gonna change. Can I get a witness in here? And see, the thing I love about God, even when we ain't talking to him, even when we ain't got him to think about him, he still covers us with his grace. God ain't gonna talk to me. I don't know about you, but I done been an ungrateful child to the Lord. But he still blessed me with grace and mercy. Even when I didn't deserve it. But now that I got enough sense and I understand what he did to me, I lift my hands and I open my mouth and I give him praise and I tell him thank you. So Master, behold, when you talk to the fig tree, right. and the fig tree begin to dry up. Right. Jesus said, What you got to understand is when you begin to talk to me, right. if you believe what you say out your mouth, you can have everything that you ask for. I stop by just to encourage you on today. No matter what you're going through, if you believe what you say in your mouth, and you're pressing the person to God. He said he'll give you everything you ask for. If you don't understand a simple conversation with the Lord, prayer will change things. Prayer will change things. Prayer will change things. See, some of us think. That when we go to the Lord, we got to have all our words together. We got to have this big vocabulary and speak all these big words. But I want you to understand God know you from every hair on your head. Because he created you. And sometimes the situation gets so rough and so tough. So you just might not have the words to say. Amen. But all you can cry is, oh Jesus, come on and see about me. God, come on and look at your child. I need you down here. I'm down here, Lord. And I'm trying to do my best. Just a little talk. I like the way the hymn writer put it. He said, I once was lost in sin but Jesus took me in and then a little light from heaven filled my soul it filled my heart with love now here's the part you get happy about because God wrote my name above and just a little talk with Jesus I'll make everything all right can I get a witness in here? And then the choir will come up and say, Let us have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about my troubles. He'll hear the faintest cry. He'll answer by and by. When you feel the prayer will turn, then you know the fire is burning. But just to talk with Jesus. You ain't got to use big words. 
You ain't gotta have a high vocabulary. Talk to him from the honest parts of your heart. And he said, if you believe in your heart, he'll give you exactly what you asked. Prayer will. Prayer will change things. Prayer will change things. You don't believe it? Ask Hezekiah. When he turned his face to the wall. Can I get a witness in here? Hezekiah had a little talk with Jesus. Can I get a witness in here? And the same one that brought the message didn't even make it out of the neighborhood yet. He had to turn around and go back. Can I get a witness in here? Prayer will change things. Is there anybody in here ever went to the doctor and had some tests done and they called you in and they gave you some bad news but you went down on your knees and started talking to the Lord and when they test you the next time they couldn't find what they find the first time I stopped by just to let you know prayer will you change things. Can I get a witness in here? Is there anybody in here then you had money Didn't know where your next meal was coming from Didn't know how you was going to pay your bills But you said, oh Lord I need a blessing right now And somehow, some kind of way All your needs was met I'm glad, I'm so glad That you look beyond my folks And supply all my needs Prayer will change things. Prayer will change things. Prayer will change things. But when you pray, you gotta have faith enough to believe what you're praying for. Can I get a witness in here? God said, I've already gave it to you. But you got to have faith enough to believe that you got it. Teach us life and death lie within the tongue. We got to watch the things we say. Watch how we speak. Watch how we talk about one another. Instead of gossiping about each other, we got to learn to start praying for each other. Prayer will. I don't care. How long have you done had an issue with somebody? Amen. Start praying for them. And then pray for yourself. That you can get past whatever y'all done been through. And watch God turn that thing around. Can I get a witness in here? Pray a wheel. Pray a wheel. If you all ain't paying attention, if you've noticed, Ever since we went to our one hour prayer before communion, uh -huh. look how God has been moving in this place. Yeah. Prayer will, will, will change things. Yeah. When you're praying from the honest parts of your heart, yeah. and when we all come together on one accord, yeah. can I get a witness again? Yeah. I like the way the scriptures say they're all in one place all right. at one time, one time. on one accord. Amen. Can I get a witness again? Yeah. And the Bible said the Holy Ghost. Y'all didn't want to talk to me. Yeah. Moved in that place. When we get on one accord. And we begin to start praying for one another. Watch how God move. Can I get a witness in here? Prayer will. Prayer will. I don't care how bad the situation is. Ain't no situation in life. I don't care how good you are. How bad you do. Amen. That was caused you to stop praying. Yeah. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. If God has blessed you to be on top of the mountain, you should still be praying. Yeah. And even if you down in the back, yeah. don't know where your next meal coming from, yeah. still pray. Can I get a witness in here? Pray a will. Because you gotta realize them tables turn real fast. The one that'll be in the valley will be on the mountain the next top, and the one that's on the top will be in the valley then. And then you'll be wondering how you got there. Prayer will. Change 
thing. Trust God. Believe in him. Believe in his word. Don't just take my word for it. Read and study it for yourself. You gotta get a witness in here. And if there's any questions, the Bible says, let's come together and reason with one another and rightly divide the word of God. Can I get a witness in here? Prayer will. Prayer will change things. Prayer will. So I'm talking to somebody in here. There's somebody in here fighting, battling something right now. Prayer will change things. And not only will you start praying for yourself, once everybody start praying for you, y'all don't want to talk to me in here. Prayer will change things. Prayer will change things. Prayer will change things.
the Baptist Church, we take you one by one. Our Christian experience, candidate for baptism. If you don't know God, you're going to pardon your sins. This opportunity is afforded to you. 